Hello. Oh, hey, yeah, I've been trying to reach you for a week. I need a, a flight south of the border as soon as you can. You can. Oh, that would be fantastic. Will you let me know as soon as possible? Thanks very much. Should we keep waiting? Guess not. We're gathered here today to say goodbye to Harold... Patterson. Harold Patterson. Harold Patterson. This is Harold Patterson. Me? Uh, sorry, no, I'm looking for Harold Patterson. Is this his? Oh, yes, of course. Yep. Did you uh, know Major? Excuse me? Major? They called Harold Patterson Major? That's cool. Is he in the Army? No. <laughs> He was just one of the greats. <clears throat> you didn't know him? How come you're here? <clears throat> he was my dad. What? <clears throat> he was my biological dad. Never got the chance to meet him. Harold Patterson is your dad? That's what my mom's telling me. Your mom's? My real mom died a long time ago. And I never had the nerve to track down my dad. How'd you know Harold? Major? We, uh... We, uh, were roommates. You had a roommate? Yeah, in college. We went to college together. Did you guys stay in touch? Yeah, a bit some. You know, he, uh... He, uh... Wrote me some letters. Wrote letters. It's, it's so cool. He was a cool guy. What was he like? Yeah, you know, 
was very fucking cool and funny. People loved him. Well, I'm glad I came here. I, I really feel better about the whole thing. I'm Leslie, by the way. Leslie Smith Juniman. Rick. Maltese. Rick Maltese. It's really nice to meet you. Do you have a card or like a, some way to contact you? You're the only person I know that ever knew my dad. I'm out of cards. Well, if you're ever in Austin, look me up. Leslie. Yeah. Could we do this another day? Yeah, you're, you're called. You want to do it tomorrow evening? I'll call you. You want this? Oh, yeah. If, if you want money or anything, you know, you just spot at me. All, all you got to do is ask. Actually, I am facing a little liquidity problem right now. Could you spare a few bucks? Hotel rooms, 75 night. Ah. Uh, anything cheaper around here? No. Okay. I just, I think there might have been a slight miscommunication. No. Uh, so the insulation panels are technically supposed Kid, to... Kid, you gotta trust me. There's nothing wrong. You, would you mind just taking a look at the original plans? I think we'll see what I'm talking about. So right there. Right there, yeah. Well, I got this. Come 
on in, it's open. They were assholes. You know, I'm not a pushover, if that's what it appeared like out there. You know, Michelangelo was also a pacifist. Was he a pacifist? I actually don't know that for sure. I think I, re I, think I read that somewhere. Can I get your signature? Yeah, These are amazing. And they're just doodles, but thank you so much. Can I get a ride home today? You know what? I'm going to start charging you gas money for all the okay. rides. You're going to charge me gas money for your electric car? OK. <laughs> OK, be a tough guy. What the fuck do you want? Oh my God, <laughs> Rick, hi. I'm, I'm, I, uh, we're kind of joking around and I thought you were someone else. I'm in Austin. How'd you find me? Ah, turns out there's not too many Leslie Smith Junimans in the world. See ya. Hi. So I thought I would uh, look you up and see if you wanted to hear some stories about your old man. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Well, yeah, whatever it is. So you want to come by the hotel tonight? Have dinner? The Sismont, 8 o'clock? Uh, I'm supposed to do an aerial survey in the hot air balloon, so I, I might not be able to make I it. I saw that. That's, uh, that's different, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess it's different. Well, it's good to be different. So, um, 8.30? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. The Sismont's a nice hotel. Nothing but the best. You always wear those sandals on the job site? Oh, these are closed toe Birkenstocks. Can I give you a little advice? Wait, do your balloon stuff and everything, but um, don't wear those on the job site. Keep a pair of boots in your car and throw those on when you're going to go talk to those guys. Trust me. Have you worked in construction? I built the Astrodome. See you tonight. Bye. Les, come on in. Hi. Oh, thank you. Come on. In college, you have this fantastic poster of El Cordobes. And when I saw that poster, that's when I knew what kind of a roommate I had. You know who El Cordobes was, the bullfighter? I'm a vegan. Not, not that I'm against bullfighting, but you know, I actually probably am against bullfighting. I just I don't really know anything about it. Uh, we're not done. Sorry, sir, we closed over an hour ago. Here, let me get this. Oh, no, what are you, crazy? Come on, your major's son. Is it okay to put it on the room? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. So, tell me about your mothers. Just regular moms, really, you know? I, except for the fact that there's two of them, which I guess is kind of weird. So I take it that one of them was the butch, you know, the man manlier one? <laughs> I get the feeling you don't know many lesbians, do you? I've known a couple. Can I ask you something? Any? Do you think Major knew that he had a son? I, I mean, you, you probably don't know. It's okay if you don't. I knew your dad better than anyone. And he had no idea. Come on, let's get out of here. Thank you. Can we do this again sometime? I got a flight tomorrow. I may not be back for a while. But uh, maybe we could have lunch before I take off. That would be great. I would, yeah. Oh, ah, I'm meeting somebody for lunch, but I might be able to reschedule. Ah. Uh, work lunch? Uh, nah, not really. Oh, that kind of a lunch? What's the deal there? <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's not, it's not like that. Come on. What's his name? It's cool. Back in the 70s, we were all a little, a little gay. Wait, do you think I'm gay? I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gay. Oh, yeah, oh, what was the girl in the trailer? Oh, she's cute. Nice figure. What's her story? 
I think she's the only person in the world that knows me. Like, like actually knows me, and I'm pretty sure that I'm in love with her. It's fantastic. But you know what? I can see her anytime, so I'll just... No, don't be crazy. No, call me afterwards, and we'll get together then. Okay. Should I call you here? Uh, no, you know what? I will call you. Let me call you. Talk to you tomorrow. Yep. Sir, I think you wrote down the wrong room number. Are you not staying here? Um, I'm a little strapped for cash. If you can work, we could uh, use you at the restaurant tonight. Si quieres. You say no, then uh, no worries. Well. Soap, it's mud. <laughs> Rick? Wes? Hey. What are you doing here? Hey, I was just meeting with the state supervisor. You must be Summer. I'm Rick Maltese, friend of the family. Oh, I heard you knew his dad. That's so exciting. What are you all doing here? Um, we are picking out wedding invitations. What, who's getting married? Oh, my God, that's him. It's Bradley. Hey, babe. Sorry, I had a ribbon cutting at a community garden. Oh, I got us matching spirit bracelets. What? Yeah, look. Wowzy, look at that. <laughs> oh, how are the invitations coming along? Huh? Sorry, we got sidetracked. Summer, those were supposed to go out a week ago. We can't keep putting this stuff off. Leslie! Hey. From work, right? Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Leslie's the smartest guy I know. Thanks a lot, Einstein. <laughs> Who needs formal invitations? I'd marry you right now if I could. I'm confused. How do you do? Oh. Councilman Bradley Ford. Ah, Rick uh, Maltese, friend of the family. Bradley and I are getting married in December. Oh, more suicides in December than any other month. It's just... We'll have to do something about that. Besides all the green work that I do, mental wellness is a major hurdle and a primary issue I ran my last campaign on. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad that you're still here, by the way. My office set up a photo op at the Pretzel Mecca with Congresswoman Boulder. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Will you come? Oh, she's going to love you, babe. So, if you want to take the rest of the day off, you can... Great! It's settled then. This is big for me and for the people of my district. Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> oh, check out the website later. The photos will be up there. <clears throat> wow. Who's he kidding with that shit? I don't know. I mean, it could be worse. In the eyes of the law, she's still single. True. 
They're not too far away. There's still time. Run after her. Ask her for drinks with us tomorrow I can't night. Do that. Of course you can. Of course you can. So she's engaged. Ask a girl. Listen, to engage look to at me. Good. Lovers gotta love. You're a lover. You love her. Right? True. So go on. I, I don't. I can't. Your dad would have pulled that move. He would have asked her. He would have asked her. And Bradley can't come. No Bradley. Okay. Yeah. Go. There you go. Keep going. Mm. What are you doing? Um. Running out of time. Um. Okay. You all right. Yeah, I'm cool. You look I'm good. I'm good. You look I good. This. I got. I got. Come on. Um. Do you have like, a little bit of water? No, like, I don't. Go. Oh, turn okay. around. Okay. Turn around. You got water afterwards. No, 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 no. Less. I'm good Less. right here. I'm just gonna lay down for a second. Really? Are you kidding? All right. I got this. Okay. Yeah. I keep seeing you. I'm Lincoln. Lincoln Beachy. You may have heard of me. Are you here to arrest me? I love the smell of cedar. I kept my first plane in a cedar hangar. The smell makes me think of flying. I always wanted to learn to fly. Being in an open cockpit with the wind rushing over your face, the ground thousands of feet below you. It's too much for some people. It's the danger that calms me. The risk of it puts life away from the edge. You washing dishes in there? cash while I figure out my next move. Well, I've never been one to let the grass grow around my feet. Pleasure to meet you. I'll be seeing you around. Sure, no one stayed in this room since then. No, I remember that guy. He was strange. He paid in cash. Dog. <coughs> she got you. Beluga. <laughs> Where's Rick? 
Um, I, I he's getting his drinks. I think. He's thirsty. <laughs> you look like a million bucks. Oh, hello. We are two lucky devils. I love this place. He always knows the best places. Oh, you gonna pour these? Oh, indeed I am. Young lady. Thank you. Here you go. <laughs> Young man. <laughs> I said to him, how did that get in my rectum? <laughs> Uh, could you just do me a favor? Could you just look at it and tell me if it's, in <laughs> if it's infected? I oh. love it. Where did you find him? We need another one. It's Owen. Quick, quick, quick. Let me get this. Oh! Okay, go. Oh. Vic, yeah. do not come back without tequila shots. Only if you ask that boy to dance. Oh. <laughs> you dance with me? <laughs> Are you scared? No. Don't be scared. New tires, new shops, <laughs> an umbrella and a gun rack. I didn't know you drank tequila. You don't know shit about me. Like, like what? Like, like I used to have a really huge crush on you. Um, pretty much the first day I met you. Got me that in New Zealand. It's made from opossum hair. I wanted to kiss you so bad. I've never had anyone like you in my life. I just wanted you to know that. Can you go talk to that girl, please? Go. <laughs> go! Go! drink this. I think we should take a shot. Maybe not. Are you feeling like Well, then maybe we should slow this down. Shh. Leslie, I'm fine. I'm fine. I feel great. Hello. Last <laughs> night. Uh, I think we should probably get going pretty soon. Maybe. 
We are going. We're going to go to a club. Of club. course we are. Who are your friends? Is this your dad? Dad? <laughs> what? <Dashing. laughs> you yeah. can dance, can't you? Um, let me see. I love that. <laughs> now I can dance. I want your dick. Well, okay then. <laughs> that should yes. be work out fine. <laughs> yeah, we should take them all home. What are you doing? Summer! Mm -hmm. Summer! What are you I'll doing, just, Leslie? Let's stay here. Let's stay here. What are you doing? Rick, do not let him sit down. No way. Okay? I'm in. It's gonna be over. Rick, Rick. we're coming. Rick. <laughs> you be Rick. careful, though. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Oh, we can sort of stay. What are you talking about? This is how threesomes happen right now. I've known her a long time. I've never seen her act like this. She's having fun, Les. We're all having fun. She's, she's not acting like herself. I think we should all just stay here. Leslie, the girl is serious. Come on. I'm going to stay Come here. Come on. I'm not, go I'm not going. I'm staying. Leslie. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love you. Oh. I love you, Leslie. Buddy, call them on the phone. Get them on the phone. Get them on the phone. Find out where they're going. Find out where they're going. I want your dick. Whoa, redhead. Voicemail. What? Voicemail. Are you fucking kidding? I try to help you out and you shit in a paper bag. I'm sorry. I'm going to the fucking lobby bar. Taxi! Where are you? Um, at St. Mary's. The hospital? Excuse me. Hi, excuse me. I'm looking for Summer Adams. My name's Leslie Smith Jr. I have an idea. I have an idea. Hey. You Leslie? Yes. I've got Summer in the back. Is she okay? Dude, she had a pretty severe manic episode last night. Did you know she was bipolar? No. Well, we've got her on something to calm her down, but you gotta make sure she takes her meds. You know, that's really important. Can I see her? No, one sec. Hey, Summer. Got Leslie here to see you. Thanks going in. Hey, you okay? Yeah. I'm feeling really chill. What happened last night? I think I lost my shit. I'm hungry. You know what, Summer? Let's, uh... Why don't you sit right here? Where are your clothes? No clothes. I'm going to find you a robe. Wait right there. Excuse me, doctor. Are you sure she's okay? Oh, yeah. She's on a fairly strong sedative, but uh, she'll be fine. She seems a little out of it. Yeah, well, those pills are strong as shit. If you ever think that taking these pills means that there's something wrong with you, just remember that I think you're amazing.
な。Ok, comandante. Yeah. You're gonna be able to find another place to stay tonight. Yeah. Okay. See you at work tonight, okay? I think I've uh, washed my last dish, Gustavo. Sabes qué, amigo? You, you're no real comandante. You need to get your shit together. Seen the paper? Oh, fuck me. Time to fly the coop. They're gonna be coming after you. I'll call the pilot. Where's your startup cap? You can't go down there empty handed. We're like great white sharks. We'd never survive captivity. Time is short. Get the money. I'm scared. I haven't told Bradley. And we got in a huge fight. Why didn't you just tell him the truth? You don't know Bradley. He's, he doesn't do complicated. He likes everything to be easy. Life's not easy. No, you don't understand. I mean, I told him I wanted to have kids of my own one time, and he, like, freaked out. He broke up with me, broke off our engagement. I don't know what to do. Anyway. Summer, can I ask you something? Are you... Are you sure that Bradley's the right person for you? Yeah. Bradley takes charge, you know. I mean, <laughs> nobody needs that more than I do. Am I crazy? I've known you a lot longer than Bradley has, and I can honestly say you're not crazy. Really? We skip work. I'd love some more cake. I would love to, but I have to take the balloon up. Hello, I'd like to cash that, please. I'm gonna need to see your ID. Uh, I lost my wallet, but I've been banking here for years. I don't have to speak with my manager. Hey, yo, 
I've got everything sorted out. Tuesday's perfect. You're a lifesaver. It's Maltese. Rick Maltese. No, I, I don't know what room number, but I know he's staying there. It's M. If I spell his name, will that help? M A L T. -E uh, hold, excuse me. Hi. Hi. Are you uh, Leslie Smith Junimet? Yeah. I'm Agent Ellis. This is Agent Shu with the FBI. Can we have a word with you? Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. I don't understand. Uh, Harold, Harold Patterson's dead. Well, we have reason to believe he may not be. He's wanted on several counts of fraud. Well, how'd you even find me? I, I mean, I didn't think anybody knew. We're the FBI. Honestly, if I, if I could help you guys out in any way, I would. It's just I don't, I don't know anything. I never even met the guy. I, I, um, you could try talking to his friend Rick Maltese. I met him at the funeral. They used to be roommates. He knew my dad really well. So, is this the man you met? Harold Patterson. No, no, that's not the guy that I met. I, I've, I've never seen this guy before. Open the door, Leslie. Good, you're home. Uh, now is not the best. Jesus! Are those real guns? We were just leaving. Leslie, if you hear anything, yeah. give us a call, okay? Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you for your service. Is everything okay, Leslie? Yeah, everything's, well, what, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, you know, it's, you know, this is probably a bad time. I should, oh, I was, um, I'm uh, more than happy to come back another time and, you don't have company. Come on in. Huh. Have some water. Whew. It's a really nice place you have here. You thought of upgrading? What are you doing here? Oh, you know, I'm just here as a uh, concerned, soon-to-be husband, I guess. Summer's been really hard to read lately, and I've, uh, I've been told I'm not good at that, you know? You. I can't imagine. I'm not, uh, I'm not pushing too hard, am I? I just, I wanna, I wanna get married and I just wanna get it over with. I have an election next spring. Oh. You know? That's cool. It's exciting. Is she freaking out or? I don't think she's freaking out, but you have to understand that people are complicated, Bradley. Hmm. You know, just just need to know she's okay. I think she's okay. Are you are you okay? Oh, I'm terrific. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stress with uh, with the job and the economy and the wedding. And am I ever really doing the right thing? Um, have you thought about maybe talking to somebody, a psychiatrist or something? <sighs> Summer said your parents were were dykes. Excuse me? I mean gay. I'm sorry, what, what were you saying? Uh, we were just talking about kids and about all the kids you're probably gonna have. It's gonna be having some soon now, I would imagine. Kids? Nah, I don't. Uh, that's not really in the cards for us. That's weird, because Summer always talks about having a family, like a big family, a big, big family, five, six, seven kids. She said that recently? Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. You know what? I I probably shouldn't have said anything. I probably I feel like it'll My man, I have enjoyed this conversation immensely, but I gotta go. I got a lot of stuff to but take enjoy my fridge, have some fun, I gotta go. Let yourself out. Thank you. Oh yeah, now this is living. Um Tell me something, do these rooms have safes? 
right here. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Songbirds tune. Hello. Hi. Hi, do you have a um a dry sauna on the premises? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Let's fantastic. I'll show you. Just right this way. It's... Thank you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What are you doing? We don't appear to have anyone named Patterson staying with mm -hmm. us. You're gonna see two doors on your left. Go right through those. What about this man. Don't go through those two doors. Instead, to go right, you're gonna see the third door on your right. right. If you see him or you see anything suspicious, give us a call, okay? Yes, of course. Thank you. Rick! Leslie! I've been calling you all day, where have you been? I need you to go. Come on. Why are you wearing a robe? Go, 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 go. You got it, you got it. Go. What? Where are we going? Look, I really need to ask you about something. Hold that thought. I've got a couple of feet in the mud here. Where are we going? I have a massage appointment. Here, turn here. Here. Like I said, there's something we need to talk about. No, I know. I want to talk to you, but I can't because of the uh, massage. Do you have any money? Yeah. You're a lifesaver. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, and um, there's a, uh, yeah, you see that cafe over there? I'll meet you there tomorrow, one o'clock. One o'clock! One o'clock! So Charlie's been hanging out with his ex. And you should have seen the look on his face when he Excuse woke up me, here Jack. in the morning. <laughs> So he's trying to sneak out without waking up her kids. Jack, I need a word with you. Just a minute. And Greta sees it, and so she starts screaming at him. You've ruined my life. You've ruined my life. I think there's a mistake with the beam on number nine. <laughs> Jack! What? Do you have a problem? No, I don't have a problem. We have a problem. There's a structural issue with the beam on number nine. It doesn't follow the plans. There was nothing wrong with that. Nice boots, by the way. Hey, you, you got you got good vision? You know how to read? Let me ask you something. When you look at these plans and you look at that beam, what do you see? Does it match up to you? Take a look. Yeah, put the glasses on, take a look at the plans. Does what's up there match what's in my plans? Because if it doesn't, you have a much bigger problem than me yelling at you in front of your friends. You have an unemployment problem. Am I making myself clear? Yeah. All right, we can fix that. Good. All right, thank you. Sorry, I yelled. Yeah. All right. Up on the beam, we're going to fix number nine right up here. Okay, keep the engine running. I'll be back in five minutes. Thanks. Patterson! Whoa! What a coincidence. Whoa! Whoa! It's quite a right hand you've got. There. Nobody fucks with my daughter. I have ten thousand dollars in cash, right? In that. You know what right? "fuck you" means? I it means "fuck oh. you." Hello? Could you come pick me up? Where the hell have you been? St. Mary's, ASAP. Leslie. Hey, what's up? 
I got Rick in the back. What happened to him? Well, he took a pretty nasty spill on the tennis court, but uh, he's gonna be all right. Good luck in the finals. Oh, thanks, Doc. Here. <clears throat> Gotta get out of here. What's going on? Follow me. Whoa. Wrong way. Tell me what's going on. Got it. I am gunning it. It's a fucking leaf. Okay, okay, okay. Pull down here. Go, 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 go. here till the dust settles. What the hell's happening? Um, okay, sit down. There's some things I need to tell you. Um, the truth is, my real name is not Rick Maltese. I know who you are. It's Harold Patterson. Wait, what? You faked your death. You knew him? The FBI came to my house. The FBI? What, what, what did you tell them? Nothing. Good boy. My father. And you're the son I never knew I had. Whoa. <laughs> Neither do my dad. Uh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> So listen, uh, I could use a place to lay low for a while. Do you, you want to help your dad out? Thank you. No worries. Ah, you're my dad. Hey, thank you for trying to help me out with that whole summer thing. I was wrong, but thanks. What are you talking about? It's over. She's getting married next weekend. Are you kidding me? Are you sure this girl's not out of her mind? It's summer. She wants to talk. Well, then you get to talk to her. I'm really glad you're here. Hey. Why would you say that to Brad? Say what? That I want to have kids. Because you do? Not if I'm with Bradley. Well, then why are you with Bradley? <laughs> do you hate me? Did I do something to you? Hate you? <laughs> no, Leslie. Can you come back? Leslie Smith Juniment, please. And this is he. Okay, ma'am. This is just a courtesy call. You've recently made some unusually large withdrawals, and we wanted to make sure these were authorized. How much? Three for a total of thirty thousand dollars. What? Are you still there, ma'am? How'd it go, bud? Did you steal money from me, Rick? Or Major, or Dad, or Harold Patterson, whatever the fuck your name is? Did you steal money from me? 
Did you steal money from me? I can get your money back, I promise. Get the hell out of my house when I call the FBI. Wait a second, Sai. I put a lot on the line to be here with you, to help you, to be a dad for you. You can't put a price on that, Leslie. What are you doing? Okay, okay. I'm going, but know this. I risk my safety. I put myself in harm's way. I risk everything to be here for you. Okay, okay, okay! Hi, Mom. Um, I'm good, thank you. I'm coming home. Hey, boss. Where's the pilot? No sign. I'm selfish, and I hate myself for it. You're not selfish. You're just unreliable. <laughs> no. I'm selfish. I always did what I wanted when I wanted to. Never thought about what would happen to other people. In other words, God me. My life is a sham. I'm on the run from the feds. I got no place to go. This is the only life for men like us. What about Leslie? I crushed him. <clears throat> Let me tell you something about flying. There was a time when any pilot who got caught in a dead spin was doomed. If the plane was spinning to the right, they'd turn left. Every time, they'd go turtle and fall down to earth. People thought a dead spin was unbeatable. But I took the problem head on. I turned into the spin. Spun the plane faster. And I came out of that spin like an eagle on a cloud. You're in a spin right now. And there's only one way out.
came here to say I'm sorry. You shouldn't be here. The FBI is... I don't care about that. Oh. You need to leave. Listen to me, Kate. I'm gonna pay every dollar if it takes me the rest of my life. It's enough, Major. Listen to me. I've made so many bad choices in my life. And I've acted like a coward. The man I always wanted to be. I don't exist. I made a fool of myself. No, you made a fool of me. But you know you're the only one I ever loved, right? I have a son. He's a hell of a kid, too. You must be one of the moms. You're a lot prettier than Leslie said you were. You are not welcome here. I'm guessing you're the other one. Did you fall off a bike or something? Yeah, actually, I was... Want to know what happened? I, uh, the father of a girl I stole money from beat the shit out of me. Karma's a bitch. Can I talk to him for a minute? It's really important. Les, could I just have two minutes? Please. We maybe go inside and put a little bit of heat on me right now. Okay. Um, you told me that Seller was your soulmate. Yeah, right before you took me for everything I had. Yes. I stole money from you. Because I needed it. And because I'm a selfish prick. And I always have. But the biggest mistake that I ever made in my life, Leslie, was letting my girl get away. We shared an office together for 20 years, just 20 feet away from each other. And I never stuck my neck on the line and told her she meant the world to me. And that I would rather die than live a day without her. I never said that. I never said a word. And she got married. And she had kids. And she's got a family. This isn't about you. I'm a 
got chances, but you are not. There's a wedding today, and we need to go in there graduate style and bust it up. Can you help me do that? Are we gonna do this or not? I'll go change. I've taken care of it. Leslie, take your mom's. It's fully charged. Yes. I'm afraid this was the best I can do. Pero tengo uno surprise in the pocket. Oh, I'm sure it's perfect, mi amigo. And here, here, here. This is Hector. He's expecting your call. He's the best immigration attorney in the state. He won't charge you a dime, okay? Oh, and this is... For your wife. <laughs> uh, for your wife. I kind of ruined the last one. Vanessa. Car 53, possible suspect spotted on Route 22. That's Patterson. Let's roll. <laughs> Springs, that's it. That's our exit. Sorry, we gotta stop a wedding. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, right after this bend. That was it, that was it, that was it. Not exactly the pearly gates, are they? That's the one. Okay, Ford family, we came here for a Ford reunion. Now we're blessed with a Ford wedding. We come here today out of love for Bradley and Summer. As they look the bull, get on! Take life by the horns, together. Can you believe this? Shh. We're gonna miss the whole thing. It started 10 minutes ago. Right on schedule. Just think about what you're gonna say. There it is. You ready for this? I don't know. Look, in the grand scheme of things, whatever happens in there is insignificant. Why are we even here? Well, because I was just feeding you a line. This is the biggest moment of your life. Jesus. I'm just shooting you straight. You're a man. And the only way to truly know yourself is to put your life on the line. Now let's get dressed. If anybody here should find any reason why these two should not be together, speak now. Or forever hold your peace. Where is it? No hablo inglés. Donde está la boda? Boda. Uh, está en el granero del evento. Abajo, por el río. Abajo. Gracias. Bradley, Summer, I invite you to begin your journey in this marriage by reciting your vows to one another in front of God and God's people. Tommy, get one of you boys to hang here at the entrance. Don't let anybody out. Remember, just speak from the heart. What is this? What are you doing here? Nice outfits. Say what you came here to say. Wait, what? Sorry. There's something I, there's something I have to tell you. Oh, holy shit. Do what you came here to do. Say what you came here to stay. Sorry. Lovers have, lovers, lovers have to. Lovers have to what? Lovers have to love because they, what? Lovers have to uh, love. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. I, this is crazy. I can't believe I'm hearing this. this is... <laughs> Let's hit it. <laughs> I 
should probably leave you two alone. What did you just do? I just stopped you from making the biggest mistake of your life. I got married. I don't care. Summer, listen to me. I had a really good speech prepared, but I, I don't remember it now. So I'm just gonna say this, I love you. And I know Bradley's perfect on paper, but he doesn't even know who you are. And I don't think, I don't think that you can love somebody like that. Why are you telling me this? Because I know that this isn't the way that things are supposed to happen. And I know that, <laughs> I know that I look, I look crazy right now. But all we want in life is to have someone see us for who we really are and love us anyway. I know you, Summer. I know you. And I love you. Then why did you never do anything about it? Why did you wait until now? I'm here now and I always will be. You're crazier than I am. I am. You want to get married? You want to marry me? I don't no, have a ring, but it doesn't matter. Will you marry me? No, I'm not going to marry you. Is it enough if I tell you I, I don't want to be Bradley's wife? I, and I love you. So much. expect to see you out here. Couldn't miss your finest moment. You can't go out the front. They got that blocked off. Do you know your way around this place? I mean, it's 4,000 acres. Like I tell you. So what do they want him for? He's supposed to be dead. And he's my dad. Keep giving it gas. Like you forgot your Costa Rica stash. My damn dishwasher. This is Leslie's money. There's only one way out of this ranch. Alice! giving you this. It's your money. What are you doing? This doesn't matter. It means everything. Am I ever going to see you again? God, I love you, boy. Mm. Honeymoon in Costa Rica. 
Go, 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 go. Go, go. What direction is that? South. Maybe southwest. What's south of here? Mexico. The sky above is dark and gray, and I am more alone. But the weather don't bother me. Though it's dark, I still see the light. The light of love. When the hard times come down on me, I know I've got family and friends to get me by. But sometimes I drop off the face of the earth, off the face of the world. You don't see me around, cause I've been out of town. I don't go back home, no, I don't check my phone. I go out, rambling round. Yes, I've been out, shaking them down. Lord, I've been up. I'm downtown and I like to ram around and dance around. I'm gonna keep on the rambling, keep on the rambling round. Cause I like girls and I like booze. No, I don't got a darn thing to lose. I like to ramble around from town to town. I'm gonna keep on the rambling, keep on the rambling round. Cause I got the boogie in me and it's got to come out I love to get down and twist and shout Love to dance around and ramble around I'm gonna keep on the rambling, keep on the rambling round But sometimes I drop off the face of the earth Off the face of the world, you don't see me around Cause I've been out of town I don't go back home, no, I don't check my phone. I go out, rambling round. Yes, I've been out, shaking them down. Lord, I've been out, I'm downtown, and I love to ramble around and dance around. I'm gonna keep on the rambling, keep on the rambling round and around and around. Hey, yeah, keep on the rambling, keep on the rambling round.
tight ship with an easy cruise Covered as everything should be taking you away On them silly 